Welcome! We're excited to give you a glimpse into our facilities here at the Karen Beasley Sea Turtle Rescue and Rehabilitation Center, where our mission is to rescue, rehabilitate, and release endangered sea turtles. Please enjoy this behind-the-scenes look at the work we do here to care for these amazing creatures. This is Turtle Bay, where all 24 of our current sea turtles are living. Turtle Bay tanks are all in their own filtration system, and we're able to make all of their own salt water. This is the water room, where we create all of our salt water daily. In this space, we also have three types of filtration systems, biological, mechanical, and physical, that all work together to ensure the turtles receive the best possible water quality to support their healing process. Currently, Sick Bay, where turtles needing a more isolated space for recovering stay, is being remodeled to increase the number of tanks on a filtration system. This is a sneak peek of the final product. Additionally, our facility also has a lab and surgery room where we are able to run blood tests, prepare medical treatments, run x-rays, and even give surgeries to our patients. We have one full-time resident here at the hospital named Lenny, an adult Kemp's Ridley that has been with us since 2006. Lenny has suffered injuries to the head, causing her to go blind, making her unreleasable. A fan favorite here at the hospital is Snooki, who is an adult loggerhead that has been with us since 2016. Due to buoyancy issues, Snooki is unreleasable and will stay with us until we can find her a forever home. This is our kitchen where we prepare all the food for our turtles. We cut up capelin, mackerel, squid, and shrimp, and then our green sea turtles are fed an assortment of veggies. Once everything is cut, we measure the food based on each turtle's weight. After the food is properly measured, it is ready to go out to the turtles. Our turtles are fed daily to ensure they're getting the right nutrition. We also include calcium and vitamins for bone health and extra nutrients. We carefully weigh out any uneaten food to make sure our turtles are eating well. Throughout the day, we work hard to maintain the best water quality for our turtles. Any debris is regularly scooped out to keep the water clean and then each tank is also brushed to avoid algae buildup. Occasionally, a turtle is isolated in a non-filtered tub or tank for medical reasons or due to lack of space in filtered tanks. We do three water changes per day for our dump and fill tubs or tanks. This ensures our turtles always have access to clean and fresh water. Each dump and fill turtle is wiped down once daily to remove oil from fish and to keep them clean and healthy. To track the growth of our turtles, we make it a priority to weigh and measure them every month. By keeping detailed records, we can ensure that our turtles are growing and maintaining a healthy weight. Various environmental enrichment devices are given to each turtle daily to engage with and help them regain strength and natural behaviors. To show you more about what we do here at Karen Beasley, we are going to show three individual cases of patients we currently have at our facility. This is Intan, a juvenile Kemp's Ridley that was admitted in November 2024 due to cold stunning. Upon arrival, Intan's right front flipper was dysfunctional and our veterinarian, Dr. Harms, discovered a previous fracture that had not healed properly. Dr. Harms then rebroke Intan's bone and gave the turtle a cast to hopefully heal the flipper in a more functional position. This cast will stay on for six weeks to aid in recovery. Porcus, a subadult loggerhead, was rescued by staff at the Karen Beasley Sea Turtle Rescue and Rehabilitation Center in September 2024 after a boat strike incident. Upon arrival, Porcus had debilitated turtle syndrome, a fractured carapace, anemia, a leech infestation, and a damaged right front flipper. Porcus's packed cell volume was only 3% upon admit. The turtle received a plasma transfusion and Snooky was the plasma donor. Thanks to the dedicated treatment at our hospital, Porcus has made a remarkable recovery. In this clip, you can see our veterinarian recently examining Porcus. We have monthly vet visits to make sure our turtles are staying healthy and receiving the proper care. Before a turtle can be released, it must be approved by our vet. A full examination is performed, including a blood draw, to make sure each turtle is healthy enough to be released. Porcus is officially cleared for release and will eventually return to the ocean. This is Talitha a juvenile green sea turtle who was rescued in December 2024 after suffering from cold stunning. Talitha also arrived with plastron wounds, and we use honey, a natural antibiotic that has been proven to be effective in treating injuries like these. Talitha is still recovering here, but has made great progress. For turtles like Talitha who aren't strong enough for our filtration system, we use special swim tanks to help them get the daily exercise that they need. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn more about sea turtles and the work we do here at the Karen Beasley Sea Turtle Rescue and Rehabilitation Center. 
Every effort counts when it comes to the conservation of this amazing species, and with your support, we hope to continue the work we do here. If you'd like to get involved, please visit our website at www.seaturtlehospital.org.